All right, people. So that um, everybody can get this at the same time. Uh oh, something going on with this. All right. So first off, I'm James Williams Jr. Welcome to Comfort Advent Number Two. Those on Facebook, welcome. This won't be a long video for Facebook, but it will be longer for Comfort Advent Number Two because I'm gonna get into the depths of this shit. And um, you know, if y'all on Facebook want to watch the rest of the video. You can watch this shit on Comfort Advent Number Two, unless I forget and stop, not like not to continue to record. All right. So, all right. I'm a man. I'm a straight man. I love my ladies. Yes, I'm specifically more of a boob man than a, uh, a ass man. Why well, don't put this out here? Because you know the me the me too man. Blah, blah, shit. No backups now because this is live. Um, the me too movement is a very good thing for women, but it's also a double-edged sword for innocent men like me who supposedly want to approach a woman that I'm interested in due to the fact that, you know, yeah, that shit is just not going to happen because you don't know what to say. There's not borderline sexual harassment. How far am I allowed to go? What am I allowed? What am I not allowed to say to these beautiful women? Because I don't want to approach them wrongly and get um, chastised or like, oh, you're just a fucking pervert or some shit like that. So, you know, I'm making this video for the simple fact that it is truly, it's a double-edged sword, you know. It's a double-edged sword for the fact that if there is a beautiful woman who's single and I wanted to approach her, it can't happen due to the fact that I'm scared I'm going to say something wrong. Alright, now I'm going to tell you another reason why it's a double-edged sword. Again, I respectfully love all you ladies, so you got to take this as I say it. Hear what I say, not what you think I say. I don't really understand the deal with ladies in leggings and yoga pants. And it's like y'all don't know what the fuck a pocket is anymore. So, that being said, you know, I'm not trying to be an ass about it. And don't think that I have not looked at asses in yoga pants and stretchy pants and leggings or whatever. I'm a man. I look and I have not made any negative or positive response on that, but hey, I'm a man. You know, let's keep that shit real. I'm going to look at your bottom. If you are walking past me and you're hot up here and down here, you have to forgive me. I am a man. And I'm going to look because that's what I do almost instinctively. You know, that being said, you know, I don't understand. Um, to deal with that because if y'all understand where I'm coming from and again I'm not trying to be an asshole or a sexual deviant or a pervert and yeah I've been guilty for being a pervert right up until the Mutu movement came out and then you know I do have respect for women I have five sisters I might not respect them that much but I do have five sisters I know how to treat women I have been in relationships I've never cheated on them they've cheated on me y'all know who the hell you are anyway the, hey love is a horrible thing it can be a good thing when it works. It would be a damn horrible thing when it doesn't. Not getting off topic, but the topic in general was the leggings. Well, something went wrong with Facebook, so we're going to stop that. Well, anyway, as I was saying, you know, the, the whole concept of me trying to get a feel for what is the deal with women and leggings you know, and the reason I say that is because a lot of women wear leggings. Let's keep it real. A lot of women wear leggings. And the, the problem with that is, it's not that I'm trying to make women feel uncomfortable. It's that I feel uncomfortable. All right? Why do I feel uncomfortable? Because I am a man. I don't understand the love for leggings. I hardly ever see women in jeans. I know women don't wear cargo pants. I wear cargo pants. I love my cargo pants. I won't wear anything but cargo pants. If I make a movie, I'm in cargo pants. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Cargo pants. Not jogging pants, not jeans, no khakis. Straight up cargo pants. I should be the cargo pants sports person because I love cargo pants. They're very well and they're comfortable. Alright? Back on topic here. I don't understand leggings. And out of fear of pissing off every woman on the planet, 
and out of fear of the Me Too movement, how do you approach a beautiful woman if she's wearing leggings and she's basically showing you all of her goods, yet they don't want you to talk to them about their clothing because wearing their clothing is not a crime. And I agree with that. You can wear whatever the hell you want. But there's a double-edged sword in that. You can't tell people you don't want them looking at you, yet you're wearing tight-ass clothes that hug your rump or hug your top. And since I'm more of a boob man than a butt man, you know, I'm going to look. And again, I'm not trying to be an asshole or pervert or sexual misdeviant or miscreant or whatever the hell the word is I'm looking for. The problem is you can't have it both ways. Now, some people like having their cake and eating it too. And, um, you know, I just feel that it's not, um, you know, I just feel that it's not, I'm sharing the Facebook thing now. I just feel that it's not cool to, um, you know, have so much power over us because of other men who are just all out fucking bad. You know, not all of us are bad. And I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not good. I mean, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm the bad guy playing the good guy. But, you know, the, the problem with that is that, you know, I do keep my mouth shut. I don't say anything about hot chicks wearing hot clothes that's tight. I'm a man. But I have respect boundaries that I do my damnedest not to cross. But at that same time, making myself sound like a hypocrite, how can I not cross that line if I'm already looking? You understand where I'm going? The Me Too movement has got me so fucked up and twisted that I'm scared to talk to girls in general. And I do have girls that I talk to in class, but most of those things are class related. You know, and hi, if y'all are watching, you know, it's just the concept of, I like chicks. I really like chicks. I don't like offending chicks. I don't want to do anything to hurt them. I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable, which goes back to like last week when I did um, the posing for the school. I was so nervous about making them uncomfortable that I made myself uncomfortable and probably totally fucked up the shit. So I probably won't even be in the catalog, and that's fine. You know, I can't blame anybody but myself. But I can also blame the Me Too movement because the photographer wanted me to lean real close in to Maddie and Sarah. Again, I seen Maddie today. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Sarah. But, you know, the thing is, you know, if I'm worried about making them feel uncomfortable to the point where it's making me uncomfortable, what the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, as an actor, there are lines that are gray and thin, and you will cross them. You will be in uncomfortable positions in a lot of films and movies that you are in. And my only deal with that is really quite simple. I won't film anything without having a down-home, good old conversation with the actress that I'm in. Because if I'm in a, in a scene where, uh, let's say, it's a fight scene... I beat up all the bad guys, I save her, her clothes are torn, I give her my jacket, you know, but on her perspective, the director has changed the script and said now that her clothes are not just torn, they're fucking gone, you know, so she has to stand there butt-ass naked. If this actress is not comfortable with that, I sure as fuck ain't gonna be comfortable with that because that's gonna come back to bite me in the ass. But remember that scene that James and I did where I was butt-ass naked and he had to give me his clothes and... He had to take off his shirt, and, 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 and it's, it's kind of like that. You know, where do we go? Where are the lines to be drawn? And I know that you guys are thinking, you went from going to legging to the Me Too to this, that. All of it is connected, trust me. All of it is connected because there's a double-edged sword. And if you look at the whole shit that Bill Cosby's going through right now and how his inappropriate actions may have cost him his freedom if he goes to jail, I mean, the man's pushing 90, so he probably won't go to jail for long. If there's a judge with some iota of decency, he'll probably be like, well, the man's blind, the man's not going to make it much longer. We probably won't give him more than maybe two years, and the shit will probably be on probation. But there'll be no contact with the six young women or any of the other actresses that have accused him of sexual misconduct. Now, while we're on that, because of the Me Too movement and all that other stuff, the sexual misconduct, let me, let me drop this to you real quick, all right? Because as an independent filmmaker who no one even fucking knows or cares about, there are lines of conduct that you just don't cross, you know? When you guys are off set, you go home. And if that actor or actors or actresses want to hang and y'all choose to hang, y'all got to be adult about this shit and be responsible, which is another reason why they most of the time tell, tell people when you're making movies or when you're on jobs and shit, they don't really like fraternization. 
And why did they not like fraternization? Because the F in fraternization means you just fucked yourself. That's pretty much it. It means you just fucked yourself. Because now there's an issue with you and your coworker. Neither one of y'all want to leave a good job. Y'all both want to either transfer or stay where you are. Because it's going to be a big problem if it was like a one night stand. It went completely wrong. And now y'all got to face each other every day. So she's giggling in the bathroom with other girls about how small your dick is. Or you're giggling in the bathroom with other dudes about how small her boobs are. Or what she tastes like. And all kinds of other stuff. It can go in so many different directions from there. Therefore, you should not be fraternizing on the job. Especially, let's say, she has a boyfriend. Now you got to deal with this dude coming to the store to whoop your ass. Because she consented to having sex with you. Or she told him something totally different. Let's say the shoes is reversed. You have a girlfriend. And now your girlfriend ain't got a raw hair up her ass and is coming to work to fucking beat this chick up for some bullshit that you told her. Because y'all both just couldn't be honest and say, yeah, we we um we had a sexual fling and shit just happened. A lot of people just can't be honest. So I want to close back with the leggings. Women for centuries have been blamed in, in this only literally just goes to like mostly rape cases on being raped because of the clothes they're wearing. I don't give a damn what a person wears, that's no excuse for rape. But at that same time, if you're gonna wear something you should probably dress decent and responsible, which goes back to the leggings. What is the deal with women and leggings? Can one of y'all please let me know because I know that it sounds really fucked up with everything I've just said, but it is kinda of fucked up because you got one side you have decent men who are still men. By nature, we are going to look at women's bodies. Period. No ifs, no ands, no buts about it. Unless you are a man who lives the alternative lifestyle and you're just not into chicks. You know, you're going to look at women's bodies. Now, I don't know any gay men personally that have told me that they look at women's bodies. I don't. I don't know if gay men even really consider looking at women's bodies outside of being their wing woman or whatever the hell that shit is with women who are gay to hang with gay men or women who are straight to hang with gay men. I don't know what the fuck is shit. I'm 44. I don't pay attention to none of that shit. I don't get out that much. But at the same time, you know, I see a lot of women wearing leggings. They're very hot, sexy women. I'm not going to mention any names. But, you know, at the same time, you have women who flip that shit. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Why are you Why are you looking at my ass? What? Why are you doing that? Why are you, what's, what's wrong with you? Now... I'm sorry if that sounds like the stereotypical things that women say, but I've had that said to me when I wasn't even looking at a damn woman. I just happened to be at the right place at the wrong time, and I guess because I was the only man coming through, they decided I was the asshole in the room. I will be first to say that everyone who knows me knows that, yes, I am an asshole, but I'm an honest asshole. You know, I once did push-ups for my battle buddy for him eyeball-fucking a chick that after they were leaving, yeah, damn right I looked at that ass. I deserved to look at that ass because I had to do push-ups for shit that I wasn't even involved in. That was said. Now, in closing, you know, I got nieces that will grow up to be young women. And I would like to prepare them for the horrors of the world. Although I will say honestly, because I don't have a vagina, it would more or less be their mothers or their aunts and their sister's job to prepare them for that shit. Because the world is not a safe place. Not for men, not for women, not for anybody. Because there are a lot of people out here who's just fucking insane. All right, let's keep that shit real. There are a lot of people out here, men and women alike, that are just fucking insane and it will bring you bodily harm. And what does this have to do with leggings? It goes back to what I said five seconds ago about how women have been raped, were accused of, asking for it because of their clothing which is a line of bullshit but it has been used as a court defense i don't know if that person won but it has been used as a court defense so where do we draw the line between a woman's clothes the me too movement and decent men when you guys figure that out please let me fucking know because i have no fucking idea what's good what's bad what's right to say what's not to say you know so when you don't know what to say you do the golden rule that everyone should teach their kids. Which is, if you don't have anything nice to say, or if you don't know what to say, keep your fucking mouth shut until you do. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. Be seeing you.